So this will help you if you're struggling with habits, with discipline, with money, um, just falling through on promises that you made to yourself and you're breaking them and you're losing confidence, this will help you out. And it's simple. I promise you it's the simplest video you've ever seen on this. It's not gonna be like one of those eight step things to change your life in 30 days. It's really simple. So if you're a victim right now to bad habits, waking up late, not going to the gym, um, undisciplined, I guarantee it boils down to one thing, and that's lack of purpose. And we'll get into it. No, no, I, it's not the woo-woo shit, I promise. But here's what I mean by that. Two months ago, my life was kind of falling apart. I was fucking up all across the board. I, I was getting up late. Um, I, I was eating decent. I was inconsistent with the gym. Um, money wasn't coming in. All these things. And um, the reason being is I had too much freedom. Everyone talks about, you know, freedom, freedom, freedom. Oh, I want freedom of time, money, location, all this shit. And when you have too much time, you won't value it. You won't value it the same. I promise you, if you're in a fucking rut right now, I guarantee time's flying by. Guarantee it. Just absolutely passing by. Because your, your days are monotonous in a bad way. Because you have so much freedom. Here's the thing I realized. If you want to change your life in 30 days, you got to add restrictions. And I'm not talking about discipline and, and willpower. Th those are good things to do 100%. But here's what I mean. You need to find something that restricts you, that compresses your time and takes away a lot of your time. And you want it to be good for you. You don't want it to be a bad thing. So I'm going to give you an example of what I did in my life to get back on track and back on the saddle. So... I got an online gig. For those of you who don't know, I used to be in in-person sales in the door-to-door -door space. Made the transition into the online space. There was a hiatus for about four months where I really did nothing. I just went to the gym, I posted on YouTube, I journaled, I read, I ran, I managed the community and that was pretty much it. That's all I fucking did. And that was not paying me. I was literally just like living on all my cash that I saved up for my last offer. And when I got into this new space and restrictions were added, I need to be up early in the morning for you know meetings. I had to take calls. I had to you know do all these things. I had to train. I had to you know get ramped. All of these things. It's a lot easier to get up. It's a lot easier to go to bed at the same time. It's a lot easier to prioritize the gym your energy, good habits, all these things. If you if your life sucks and you're in a rut, you need to you need to stop giving yourself so much freedom and you need restrictions in your life. Double down on something, like a job. Get it get like if you don't have a job right now, not not a job necessarily in that sense, but like a way to bring in money, a gig, whether it's sales, fucking a business, whatever it is, you need to become restricted by something. That's going to take a lot of your time because the problem is, is right now you have way too much freedom and that's fucking you up. So find something that's going to take your time and almost everything else will fall into place. Like I got, I remember I get questions in the community like, oh, I can't wake up early. Same bro. I've, I fucking been there. Now I get up at the same time every single day because I, I, I have something that restricts me. I have a commitment I have to be there for. The, the, the consequence of me not being there is too extreme. I'll, I'll, I'll lose the gig. You see what I'm saying? The, the consequences are real. It's no longer a promise to myself. It's a promise to other people. It goes beyond that. That's probably the problem right now is you're making these promises to yourself. But, the, but there's no real consequence. No one's going to fucking know if you don't wake up early. You get what I'm saying? No one's going to know if you don't go to the gym. No, no one's going to know these things besides you. And that's not enough of a consequence. That's why if you're in a rut, find something that will make the consequences more extreme. Like get, in, get a new gig. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Get into the space, whatever that is for you. I, I, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you're looking for. But do these things and it is literally the catalyst that's going to set everything else up.
You'll, you'll start to change your life. The money will come in and you'll be doing the right things. You'll be waking up early, going to bed at the same time. You'll start to prioritize your health. You'll start to make money and you'll start to prioritize the food you eat, the water you drink, all these things. And your life's going to start this snowball effect. It would make no sense for me to make a video on everything else that comes after doing what I'm saying to do. Just do the first step and it's a domino effect. The rest will fall into place. So find a gig that genuinely pushes you, that genuinely pushes you and there's actually opportunity there. If you're capped out where you are, it doesn't matter if it's you know, a salary job, whatever it is. If you feel like you are capped out and you don't feel like the there's a ceiling or you don't feel like the ceiling's high enough maybe, who knows? It might be in your best interest to consider something else. I can't make that decision, only you can. But you need something that restricts you more. You're giving yourself way too much freedom. And because of that, you're a slave to it. So find something that will restrict you. As always, stay focused, stay committed. I'll see you in the next one.